Hello everyone, today I will show you uh, what's inside this old radio. It's made in Bulgaria by Electron and the brand is Tantau. It can also be branded as Transport or Vinograd. And um, these old radios, I scrapped them mostly for MLCCs and I scrapped them for Palladium, not that much for Gold. Uh, so let me quickly show you what is inside. I'll first remove the battery. And uh, there are two screws inside. I already removed them to speed up the process. So you just pull after that and you get the access to the two boards. So it's two sided, one side and the other side. And actually next step is to quickly remove these two boards and remove all these metal that is on top let me just show you one of them removed like this one i will just to show you what is inside so if you remove this metal you'll find that under it we have one of these uh, they call it uh, mlcc like a collection of MLCCs. So on this one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight MLCCs are under this uh, ceramic here. And I will open all of them to expose the MLCCs and show you how the boards look like. Okay, so uh, this is the result. We have a pile of aluminum covers and we have um, all the elements exposed. You can see that we have really many of this ceramic full of MLCC's elements. So each of them has from five to eight, nine MLCC's on top. It's, uh, and these are really good quality ones. These are non-magnetic and they're full of palladium. And let's look on the other side. Here we have similar situation. We have many of these ceramic covered with MLCCs elements. And we also have, you can see these small blue ones. These are Bulgarian MLCCs. They have, uh, let's say, good amount of palladium. They are non-magnetic and uh, Usually I collect them and I sell the small ones and I keep the big ones for processing. For me, it's really worthless to process these small ones because uh, it's huge amount of uh, uh, plastic package and a really, really small uh, capacitor inside. Next step is to cut all this wiring, to unscrew the two boards and to remove them from the metal frame. So I'll be able to cut all these MLCCs, transistors and stuff. And I'll show you at the end what is the final result. Okay, so that's the final result. What we have, we have this frame there are some switches here, you can see, and we have some ports. We will uh, recover some silver from them, but they're not urgent. I usually give them to a friend of mine and he takes care of them. He has more time than me and uh, he really likes recovering silver from. And he's focused on silver and palladium mostly. So this goes to a friend of mine, also these two, because um, usually here in the uh, the soldier we have some gold that was dissolved we have some silver in some of the elements that are left so i don't uh, throw away these i give them to a friend of mine and he recovered some, some metals left in these boards and actually what we have at the end, we have these um, at about 70 
MLCCs that are in the ceramics. We have this nice KT920A, probably two, three US dollars in gold here. And we have these blue ones. Uh, these are Bulgarian blue ones. That's how they call them. And let's check the weight of these ones. I'll be surprised if they're more than three grams. Usually, uh, they are not only blue ones. I, I've seen even green Russian ones in these um, radios, but for this one that I scrapped today, unfortunately, I have only 3.33 grams of blue Bulgarian capacitors. There is some palladium in these ones. They are good, but uh, not as good as the green ones, not as good as the Bulgarian brown ones, not as good as the Bulgarian black ones. So what I usually do, I just pick the big ones like, like this and uh, I keep the big ones for myself and all these small ones, I just uh, sell them because it's meaningless to spend time and chemicals. The MLCC that is hidden inside this blue package is really small. And from my perspective, it's worthless investing in this time. We have some other elements, some silver here and there. We have some transistors. We have many things, even this uh, um, uh, nice K53-4. Maybe there's nothing in it, I have to check it, but I don't care. All this stuff just goes to some boxes. I collect stuff there, stockpile, and someday maybe I'll check them and um, try to recover some gold, silver, or sell for other metals. But uh, my focus when I'm scrapping these radios is on, on capacitors. So we have about 70 of these. Uh, small MLCCs hidden in the ceramics. We have at about 3.3 grams of Bulgarian blue ones and we have 2-3 US dollars in gold hidden here. So that's everything for today. Thank you very much.